for the opportunity to present here an update of the GCC of NACC status. So first, maybe I, I, I realized I should maybe explain what GCC is. For those who don't know, that's the GNU compiler collection, um, which is a uh, compiler originating decades ago, um, developed as free software, open source software. Um, most of the developers are employed by companies, like my team uh, is by, by Mentor Siemens Business. Um, and yeah, so even though it's free software, open source software, the work like GCC, Open ACC support is funded, for example, by service contracts to end users, by academia industry as users, or even by, by chip vendors who want their latest chips supported in GCC. So that just as an introduction, what GCC actually means here. So next slide, please. <clears throat> so at the beginning there, um, I wanted to announce here that uh, Tobias Bonus, a colleague of mine, has been appointed uh, second OpenACC maintainer in GCC in, in addition to me. Uh, so congratulations to him for the trust that the GCC steering committee puts into him and our work. Um, this helps to to review the the patches that we have outstanding for GCC to integrate them from our development branch into the mainline branches. So and that's actually what what happened mostly or a lot during the GCC 10 development time frame. So GCC releases one release per year, one major release. Um, so we, we had over 100 patches merged into the mainline uh, branch in, in the last year. This includes a lot of bug fixes, but also extensions for uh, OpenACC 2.6 support, for example, for new features. Um, as I list here, unification to um, share code between the AMD and NVIDIA GPU support. Um, and that's actually a thing that is missing here. Oh, uh, GCC 10 also introduced um, offloading support for AMD GPUs. So GCC 9 already added a AMD GCN backend so that GCC can produce code for AMD GPUs for GCN architecture. And now with GCC 10, released earlier this year, you can actually um, use that for for OpenACC uh, offloading regions as well as OpenMP target regions. So then um, GCC 11 is what's under development right now. That will include uh, finally um, better support for the OpenACC kernels directive where the compiler has um, more work to do compared to the parallel directive to prove that loops can be parallelized if they have not been marked up by the user. Um, also, we are adding support for AMD GPU offload debugging. So that means you can actually step through, single step through the AMD GCN assembly instructions and <laughs> Of course, uh, stepping through a thousand threads in parallel will be tedious or impossible, but that definitely can help to figure out where your uh, null pointer division happens, uh, null pointer, uh, zero value division happens, or, or null pointer dereference, or stuff like that. So that's an interesting feature for developers, I'm sure. Um, right, and we're still working on getting our work from the OpenACC development branch into the mainline branches. We're also looking into further performance optimizations, which we always have along the last years. Even. Yeah. And then for GCC 10 timeframe, so that's one year further, we are planning um, on further support for, for, for uh, revisions of the OpenACC specification support for unified pin memory, shared memory, like offered by NVIDIA GPUs and similar concepts on uh, AMD GPUs. And what was mentioned before, uh, we do not yet support the multi-core CPU as offloading devices, but that's also planned. 
Um, right, so next slide, please. So, um, work, so yeah, I, I mentioned GCC 10 released earlier this year um, contains OpenACC 2.6 support, including the manual deep copy stuff, for example. Um, for AMD GPUs, we provide, um, or yeah, uh, somebody, <laughs> a customer, sponsors a binary build, so we, we provide that on the URL listed here. Um, also, you can find these items on the OpenACC webpage. Um, for NVIDIA GPU support, you either build GCC from source, it's open source after all, um, but that's a bit complicated process as it involves several compilers to your host device and your GPU, which have to be connected together. So there's also support being introduced by um, tools like SPEC or the HPC Container Maker, um, which are tools to, to build software packages. Um, and this includes GCC compilers, um, and these can be configured for um, NVIDIA GPU offloading, for example. I'm not sure if AMD is supported there as well, but uh, should should be the very same process to, to add that support. That's also available, f um, links to, to these packages are available from the OpenACC webpage if you go to the tools page, subpage, and then there's a link for, for GCC open source compiler. Right, so I mentioned GCC releases um, happen once per year, the big releases. GCC 10 includes OpenACC 2.6 support and the first work for the kernels, better OpenACC kernel support. Um, then there is the OG 10 development branch, which is our development branch where we commit our ongoing work um, that is based on the GCC 10 release currently. And basically there we accumulate what we want to get into GCC 11 and over the year merge these changes into the GCC main mainline branch, which will then in next spring be released as GCC 11. That will include the, the uh, OpenSCC kernels improvements, um, various performance improvements, the debugging I mentioned, and I'm sure a lot of bug fixes that we have done already. Right, then next slide, please. So the what's going on is is still the same as before, basically performance improvements, um, looking into actual codes um, that customers of ours are interested in accelerating and seeing what the compiler can do to help with that. To um, goal is still to to integrate our existing work and move that from the development branch into the mainline branch. And yeah, um, add support for for newer OpenACC features that are still missing from GCC, fix bugs. Uh, well, we, we notice when, when you implement a compiler according to a specification, <laughs> it's obvious that you look into detail in the specification and notice issues there that need clarification, all these tons of corner cases. So that's happening. We work with the OpenACC committee to clarify and then we fix the compiler. Right, and GCC, as we have seen, serves as or the, the OpenACC and also MP, OpenMP target offloading implementation in GCC serves as a common code where it's relatively easy to add support for for new GPU types from different vendors, for example, if there's interest in that. Of course, all that works needs to be funded. Um, yeah, but it's happening. We first had NVIDIA GPU support, now we have AMD GPU support. Right, and that's all I had. Uh, so thanks for attending this update. Thanks to the OpenACC team that I'm working with. And of course, thanks to my colleagues at Mentor and the general GCC community developing that compiler. And also uh, thanks to Catherine Moore who prepared these slides. Uh, I was on parental leave for a month and just returned to work earlier today. 